Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video here, I'll be going over how to install a quick change tool post on my lathe. A big shout out to Precision Matthews for sending out this tool post. This is their AXA quick change tool post set. It includes a straight holder, straight with a V groove, boring bar holder, knurling holder, and parting tool holder. I will be releasing a review for this after giving a full test, so be sure to keep it out for that. A link to this tool post to Precision Matthews will be included in the video description. In order to fit this attachment to my lathe, I must make a T-nut so I can fasten it to the tool post slide. This kit comes with the supplied base plate that is already threaded for the center bolt. It does however need to be machined to match your lathe. Considering this is a square piece, I installed the four jaw chuck. I am centering up the threaded hole. This is needed so the T-nut fits correctly in the slot. I installed the threaded stud for the tool post and then used a dial indicator. You'll need to work between two jaws at a time, the ones across from each other. Zeroing the indicator may be helpful but isn't necessary. Take a reading at the one jaw, whichever is facing the dial indicator. As an example, if the one jaw is reading 0 thou and the other one is reading 40 thou, you'll need to divide the difference. The higher number jaw must move in 20 thou, while the lower number jaw must move out 20 thou. It's important not to over tighten the jaws so you're not marring the edges of the part. It may take a bit of time to work between the four jaws. As you get more used to this, it'll become easier. When done, I'm within 1 thou, which I'm happy with. Now we're on to cutting the piece. The piece is 500 thou thick and will need to be cut down 220 thou, leaving the bottom portion 280 thou. I got down to so far until I found out the jaws would interfere with cutting the piece down any further. I switched over to a 3 jaw chuck, threaded it onto the center stud, and then used the supplied nut to lock it into place on the base plate. The raised portion around the threaded hole remains the full height. The overall thickness of the T-nut should be slightly shallower than the tool post slot on the lathe. We don't want any interference when tightening down the tool post. If it's too high, this can prevent this, not allowing the tool post to lock into place, which will make it move. The diameter of the raised portion is 870 thou. I'll provide rough drawings towards the end of the video specific to my lathe. Here's a quick test fit to ensure it fits correctly. I was noticing a rougher finish with the HSS cutting bits. These had a positive rake. I ground new cutting bits, this time switching it over to a negative rake, which made a huge difference improving my cuts. Switching back to the 4 jaw chuck, the T-nut now needs to be cut to width. The total width of the T-nut is 1 inch and 280 thou. The raised portion with the threaded hole will need to be centered. So the lower portion will need to be a total of 205 thou on each side of that raised portion. Quite a bit needs to be cut down, so you can do rough cuts with a bandsaw or cut off wheel to save a bit of time if you wish. I am working with one side at a time so the piece is kept square on the headstock side. Once done, the piece is then deburred using a file. This will remove any sharp edges or corners. Finally, use some 320 grit emery cloth to go over the deburred edges. My lantern style tool post is then removed and the new T-nut is installed. Thread in the center stud. It'll stop at the shank which prevents the stud from going all the way through where it risks damaging that slotted surface. Install the quick change tool post. Thread on the retaining nut. Install the handle, tighten with a wrench. Then the knob can be installed. After that, one of the attachments is installed. This one is the straight holder, which has a quarter inch to half inch capacity. I have a bunch of carbide cutting bits that came with my lathe. Finally, I'm able to use them. The elevation can be centered using the tailstock dead center, and the height adjustment is locked into place on the nut, always saving the position. It'll be fast and easy to switch between tool bits. Be sure to keep an eye out for the review on this quick change tool post in the future. 
Here is that rough drawing for the dimensions specific to my lathe. This concludes the rest of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below and throw a like my way. Don't forget to subscribe to my metalworking channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.